Welcome to the instructional video on the installation of field piping of Daikin Altherma 3, piping installation, connecting the water piping for EPRA plus ETVH or ETVX units. In this video, we begin by guiding you through the process of connecting the outdoor and indoor units water piping. Afterwards, we explain the installation of the space heating cooling field piping between the indoor unit and the collector. And finally, we show the installation of the domestic hot water field piping to the indoor unit. Now, let's get started. First, we will focus on the installation of the field piping between the outdoor unit and indoor unit. The red piping, which is the leaving warm water must be installed from the outdoor unit's water out connection, to the indoor unit's water in connection. Conversely, the blue piping which is the return water, must be installed from the outdoor unit's water in connection, to the indoor unit's water out connection. Let's proceed with the step-by-step -step process for this installation. To ensure a reliable and watertight connection, first apply thread sealant, and then connect the field piping to the outdoor unit's water outlet. Next, apply thread sealant to the outdoor unit's water inlet. We provided a shut-off valve with integrated filter with the outdoor unit. Connect it to the unit's water inlet. Afterwards, apply thread sealant to the field piping, and connect it to the shut-off valve. It is the responsibility of the installer to protect the field piping from freezing. When no glycol has been added to the water, you can install freeze protection valves, at all lowest points of the field piping, outside the house. These valves allow the water to drain from the system before it can freeze. Take note of these important installation guidelines. Install the freeze protection valves at all lowest points of the field piping. Place the valves in the coldest part of the field piping, away from heat sources. Ensure the valves are positioned more than 15 cm above the ground to prevent ice from blocking the drain outlet, and make sure there are no obstructions. Maintain a distance of more than 10 cm between each freeze protection valve. Prevent rain, snow, and direct sunlight from reaching the freeze protection valves. And do not make traps in the field piping. Install the freeze protection valves on the inlet and outlet field piping outside the house. We recommend installing field supplied normally closed valves on the water pipes between the indoor and outdoor units inside the house. These valves should be located near the piping entry exit points indoors. When there is a power interruption, the normally closed valves automatically close and isolate the water inside the house. When at this time the freeze protection valves open, only the water outside the house is drained. To facilitate service and maintenance, we provide four shut-off valves and one differential pressure bypass valve. Use two shut-off valves in the following step and keep the other valves for the installation of the space heating cooling field piping. Begin by mounting the shut-off valves and O-rings on the water in and out connections from and to the outdoor unit. Then, install the water piping between the outdoor unit inlet and indoor unit outlet and between the outdoor unit outlet and indoor unit inlet, screwed with 1 inch connections. Finally, insulate the freeze protection valves in the same way as the water piping, but do not insulate the air inlet and drain outlet of these valves. Now, it is time to explain the installation of the space heating cooling field piping between the indoor unit and the collector. The blue piping must be installed from the indoor unit space heating cooling water in connection to the collector's water out connection. And the red piping must be installed from the indoor unit space heating cooling water out connection to the collector's water in connection. Let's go through the installation steps in detail. First, Mount the shut-off valves and O-rings that we provide with the unit on the space heating cooling water in and out connections. Then, install the water piping between the indoor unit space heating cooling water in connection and the collector's water out connection, screwed with 1 inch connections. And install a valve of a field supplied filling kit on the space heating cooling water inlet pipe.
Now, install the water piping between the indoor unit space heating cooling water out connection and the collector's watering connection, screwed with 1 inch connections. And provide air purge valves at all local high points. To ensure the minimum flow rate and prevent overpressure, install the differential pressure bypass valve that we provide with the unit. We have arrived at the final stage of the video, which is the installation of the domestic hot water field piping to the indoor unit. Note that the piping on the right is coming from the main water supply. The field piping must be installed to the domestic cold water in connection and the domestic hot water out connection of the indoor unit. We will now explain this installation in detail. Begin by connecting pipes to the cold water in and hot water out connections of the indoor unit, screwed with 3 quarters inch connections. A field supplied pressure relief valve, with a maximum opening pressure of 10 bar or 1 MPa, must be installed on the domestic cold water inlet connection in accordance with the applicable legislation. Without a pressure relief valve, the expanding water due to heating can exceed the domestic hot water tank's design pressure. This high pressure also affects the connected field installations like piping and tapping points. To prevent deformation of the tank and potential water leakage, the correct operation of the pressure relief valve is essential. Regular maintenance is necessary to ensure its proper functioning. Install the pressure relief valve at a higher position than the top of the domestic hot water tank. Next, install a ton dish, which is then connected to a drain. We recommend installing field supplied shut off valves to the domestic hot water out and the domestic cold water in connections. However, remember not to place any valves between the pressure relief valve and the domestic hot water tank. We also recommend installing an expansion vessel and a pressure reducing valve on the cold water inlet in accordance with the applicable legislation. To avoid back siphonage, we recommend installing a non return valve on the water inlet of the domestic hot water tank in accordance with the applicable legislation. Remember not to place the valve between the pressure relief valve and the domestic hot water tank. Install the other valve of the field supplied filling kit on the domestic cold water inlet pipe. And connect the backflow preventer from the same kit. Finally, connect the flexible hose from the kit between the valves of the domestic cold water inlet pipe and the heating cooling water inlet pipe. And with this, we have completed the installation of the field piping in the heat pump system.